tucked away in a sizable corner of Golden, you'll find the country's only federal research facility dedicated to renewable energy and energy efficiency. This is the home of the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, or NREL. Among the hundreds of people working here are three very motivated professional development NREL interns who all share a common link. All three are graduates of Jeffco Public Schools. John Dagdalen was a Lakewood High Tiger, while Emily Beasy was a Devlin Jaguar. And that's Jason Actis, formerly a Ralston Valley High Mustang. Collectively, their internships are light years away from filing and answering phones. These three are engaged in some very high-level research that could someday change the world. John, for example, his work involves stabilizing perovskite solar cells. Say what? These are new types of solar cells comprised of a material that makes it much easier to coat onto surfaces for use in manufacturing solar panels. The reason that these, are, these materials are interesting to us is that they have really desirable physical properties for solar cells. So they absorb light really well, they separate out the electricity from it really well, um, and you can make these cells really cheap. The only problem, they're only stable for a day or so, and they don't do particularly well in humid climates. To correct it, John is working on developing a material that's almost like liquid glass. So you apply it as a liquid, and when it dries, it forms a very uh, dense um, hermetic seal over the solar cell. And so that allows these cells to be protected from the atmosphere so they can be stable. Not far away, Emily is working as part of NREL's high-efficiency crystalline photovoltaics group. Try putting that on a business card. I am working on um, putting metal contacts on silicon photovoltaics. If you've ever seen the metal grid on the back of uh, solar cells, I'm working on a new process for putting that metal down. This new process uses electrodeposition, which involves um, taking metal ions out of solution and pasting them onto your silicon. They expect us to actually help them improve their, improve their efficiency, um, so it's pretty cool. And then there's Jason, whose internship centers on sustainable transportation, specifically long-haul trucking and thermal load reduction strategies. That means we're trying to reduce the air conditioning fuel use for these trucks that travel 500 miles a day or more. They have to idle around 10 hours a day to give the drivers a rest period, and during that time the drivers try to stay comfortable. They have the air conditioning on, they have a little sleeper cab in the back with their bed, and it's about 667 million gallons of fuel a year are used just for idling those long haul trucks. Each credits Jeffco Public Schools for giving them a solid start, along with the teachers who put them on their scientific paths. A few of them really helped me technically, I guess I would say. Suzanne McClum, she really uh, showed me a, a side of science that um, I hadn't always uh, been keen to. Uh, I like never really liked chemistry until I took her class. Devlin math teacher Corey Rickman was one of Emily's guiding lights. It was different in that he taught us the applications of math um, and that really helped me to understand like Anything I learned in school is just like the beginning and then after that you kind of have to figure out what you can use it for. And Jason? He credits Ralston Valley's overall climate of excellence and high expectations, though he looks back on his Mustang experience with one disappointment. Yeah, I didn't really no math and science was going to be so important to me then, actually. I thought 
thought it was just a requirement. I mean, I, I didn't take enough AP classes. I should have. Somehow, it all worked out. The one thing all three of these energetic interns share is their belief that their Jeffco experiences gave them both preparation and self-confidence. It taught me to take on projects that are way over my head. Teachers really encouraged me um, to look at the big picture. How to absorb technical material and process it in our own brain so we understand it in our own way and then be able to demonstrate that knowledge uh, to others and use it. Trying to actually accomplish something that I think is important.